Hi, welcome to another exciting episode of House of Magic. I'm Eric. And I'm Cassie. And today we're going to be talking about something that, that we knew was going to happen sometime soon, but we didn't know when. But it's going to be the Grand Prix in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And so we knew it was happening, but we didn't really know when. We didn't remember when. And we didn't know what the format was going to be. Well, I got a little curious today, and I was snooping around trying to see when pre-reg starts and the costing and all that, which is still not... Well, the, they told me when pre-reg is, but they're not giving any costing yet. So, sad face on that. But, I saw the word limited, and I was like, hmm... What do they mean by limited? We're so, used to Grand Prix being modern or standard. Or vintage, or legacy, whatever it's called. We've definitely never, <clears throat> at least us being noobs, have not heard of a limited Grand Prix. And so, of course, I Googled it, and the Wizards website pops up and stuff, and I was like, oh, this is Cassie's jam. Because she loves drafting. She loves sealed events. And I was like, this is awesome. So when I told her, she about had a heart attack and kicked our cat out of her lap because she was hopping up and down. I did not out of her lap, my lap. So I much. She was so excited. I am excited, though. Okay, so let's talk about what a limited Grand Prix is. Yes. That's fine. So, so from what I read, basically there's going to be nine rounds the first day. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I don't know if that's nine rounds on Saturday, which I think it is, because I think Friday you can uh, try to go in and get bumped up in the ratings. Friday's a registration day, but there are no rounds on Friday. No, there Saturday is. Saturday and Sunday are the rounds. Well, there's 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 like a, the, the pre-tournament rounds to where you can try to get a buy for the next day. Right, but the official rounds start Saturday so, is so what I mean. So you get nine rounds on day one, and then day two, it's said uh, that uh, is a booster draft. So I'm guessing day two is going to be the like like the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and all that. The basically your was it top sixteen, top eight, and then it starts rolling down from there. But uh, but yeah, so we're like super excited because we can go there and we'll be on the same playing field as everybody else. The world limited to our which is minds. why limited is the best because everyone's on <laughs> a level playing field. <laughs> day one, you're going to get. Six unopened booster packs with which you are going to make 40 card deck. A minimum 40 card deck. It's always a minimum, Eric. Everyone knows that. So. Talk about it. So what they do is that basically you rip open your six packs. You mark them down on the sheet of paper, kind of like what you do for... Um, League. League. Uh, then in, in the video that Magic has online... Now you put in a little Ziploc baggie with the paper that you wrote everything down, and then you pass it to your person, to the next person. And then whatever bag you get, that's the bag you play with. Like, I understand they do that so that it cuts down the cheating stuff, but what if you get that fucking badass card you meant one? What if you get that card that's going to help you make a fucking awesome deck with the cards that you've seen and stuff? And as I said before, that means you know who that you go to trade with. But if it's an awesome card, nobody's going to want to trade it. They're going to sell it some bitch. You don't know that. Everyone always wants to trade. Yeah, and they're going to trade for something fucking even better. Or damn near close. Anyways, that's the only thing. Like, I understand it, but I don't like it, but I understand it. Of course, at the same token, you could be getting that badass card that, that you want, and it could be getting passed to you. And then the second day is just regular drafting. Which is also Cassie's jam because it's limited. Love, limited. So... This will be both of our first Grand Prix. We my are, second. Oh, Eric's second Grand Prix, my first Grand Prix. Um, in case you can't tell, we are definitely planning on doing this as of this moment. Um, of course, life happens, and it is multiple months away, so who knows? But I'm very excited for it. I'm excited to participate in it. It's not until May, though. So, um, that means I'm going to have to participate in as many drafts as possible, as many leagues as possible to get ready for it. I don't know what Eric's going to do to get ready for it, and that's his business, not mine. Oh, over drafting. Well, and they just came out with a new uh, drafting thing. If you get, was it 10 drafts in before the end of the year, you get a, a special promo card. I did not know that. I, I sent you the link. You said, oh, I already know that. I already read it. I posted it and stuff. I just read about them being 10 weeks of drafts. I didn't see that. Yeah, no, the 10 weeks drafts, drafts, and then you get a special uh, pack. Um, they're also going to be 
you know, they have dino drafting coming up. They have unstable coming up, which is a oh. drafting format. And that counts towards it. But you gotta, you gotta do all your drafting at one shop, though. Okay, well, we'll have to talk to our shop then. Yeah. Um, there are so many options. And then, once again, there are leagues, and you can do a league at home. You can do a league at multiple shops. I could go to five shops in the area and participate in all their leagues and get all that practice in. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is learning how to build your decks, knowing your cards. So make sure you're familiar with the set that's at hand or the set that's being drafted or unsealed. And understanding or, you know, having a goddamn plan sometimes helps. Yeah. My last draft went shitty because I did not have a plan. Well, and the good thing, I guess, I don't know if it's good or not, but when this comes out, it will be after the second part of Exxon comes out. Was it the... Rivals? Rivals of Exxon is going to be out, and it should be, and I don't know if they would use this or not, but the M25, uh, I don't think that's going to be part of it. I think that's somewhere in the beginning of the year, in the first quarter, I think, maybe second quarter. We will have to wait and see. And it's definitely way before M18 comes out. So, basically, M19, core 19. It's the 2019 yeah. core that comes out. I never time. understood why they did that shit. They don't ever put it with a year. That's a, never mind. I, get, I digress. Anyways, we are super excited over this and it gives us a shit tons of reasons to go out and draft. It gives Not her, that we need those reasons, but we'll take them. It gives her a reason to go out and draft because I think I believe top prize is ten thousand. Which I'm and not gonna get. You could. You don't know. People are good here. Not with an attitude like that. But if I think you make it like was it top 60, 61, something 64, like that? Sixty four, you said. Sixty four, you get two hundred and fifty dollars. Hey, that's still good. That's still good. But we're not in it for the prizes. We're in it to have fun. We're in it for the experience. Now, if you're planning on coming to this Grand Prix or any of the Opens that are going to be in the DFW area, please hit us up in the comments. Send us a message. Send us an email. It's houseofmagic at gmail.com. Let us know. We'd love to meet up with you guys. We'd love to chat with you guys. We'd love to play with you guys. Yeah. And you know what? If, if you're a YouTuber and you come down, hit us up. We'll go have a meal or something or share a hot dog at the convention center. Or go drinking. Anyways, I go to the Grand Prix for playmats and promos and cards. I go to the Grand Prix because they're Grand Prix. Well, there's that too, but oh my gosh. The, the amount of stores we'll have there and the cards and stuff. They'll have so much shiny, you'll be blinded by the shiny. And don't worry, I'm sure we'll bring our camera and get at least 50% of that shiny on film. Oh, it's so shiny. So, so shiny. So thank you again for joining us in our House of Magic. Once again, I've been Cassie. I'm Eric. Um, once again, if you liked it or didn't like it, subscribe, like, comment, especially if you're excited. Let us know what events you're excited for. Let us know how you feel about Grand Prix in general, the different formats of Grand Prix, and what Grand Prix you're most excited about attending. Have a great evening. We'll see you next time. Bye.